We be the warriors, the most high sin, so you know there is no destroying us. Ordained from the womb, prophets back from the tomb to cast out all these false doctrines. Society has been set up against you, children of Israel. Listen up. Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So the Bible ask, is asking the question, it says, who has changed the truth of God into a lie? You know, you know. Society itself has changed the truth of God into a lie. Because society says one thing, and the Bible says another. No. But on the dollar bill, they say, in God we trust. You know? How you trust in something you don't walk in? I'm going to give you one of, the, one of the deceits that society has put our people in. One of the deceitful factors they have done to our people. You, black man, Listen to this, cause right now, cause right now, they got the rainbow representing uh, uh, sodomites. They got the rainbow representing all forms of fornication. Deceitfulness is going on in this society. That's right. They are the ones who have changed the truth of God into a lie. We are living in Babylon the Great. Sodom and Egypt. That's right. I'm going to show you what God said about that rainbow that's in the sky. The rainbow that's on people's cars, on people's shirts, that's representing faggotry. Read that up. The book of Genesis, chapter 9, verse 12. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is within you. Okay, so God said this is the token that I make between me and you and every living creature. Listen. I do set my bow in the cloud. He said I do set my bow in the cloud. That's right. That's where that rainbow come from. Go up a verse. Verse 11. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off anymore. So this covenant was set up with the children of Israel with, with Noah. It was a sign that he would not cut all, all flesh off anymore. By water. By water. The next time will be with fire. That's right. Read. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off anymore by water of a flood. Neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for a perpetual covenant. So that's a perpetual covenant. That covenant right there, that bow in the sky is perpetual. It don't stand for nothing else. You know? So, so which one of you black men, because that's all I see out here right now, which one of you going to stand up for God? No. Which one of y'all are going to rise up? Give me out Which one of y'all going to rise up? Because this is what we got to do, because we are the leaders. The world is built... Just like James Brown said, this is a man's world. So er everything else fall under us. It's an order set up. God, Christ, man, and woman. And if we out of order, they out of order. So it starts with us. We got to start back keeping God's laws and commandments. And then everything will fall in order. Read it up. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? This, this is the prophet Isaiah. He said, I heard a voice saying, Who will I send? That's the Spirit speaking to him. That's the Most High God speaking to him. Go up a verse and read that. Verse 7. And he laid it upon my mouth 
and said, Lo, this have touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? So God said, Who will I send, and who will go for us? Who will stand up against the workers of iniquity in these days? Who? Let's see what the prophet Isaiah did. Because our men ain't honorable like our men were back in the day. Yeah. We don't want to stand up for the most high God like he want us to. Like we were meant to do. Like up. we promised to do. Look it up. Read. Then I said, here I am. Send me. He said, here I am, God. Send me. I'll go. Read. And he said, go and tell this people. Hear ye indeed. But understand not. Because see, y'all here, but y'all don't understand. Y'all yeah. understand not. You got ears, but you don't hear. Yeah. Read. And said ye indeed, perceive, perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat. Go up and read that again. First, yeah. Yeah. Verse 9. And he said, go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Y'all see and y'all perceive not. You hear, you got ears on, uh, ear on both sides of your heads, but you can't hear what's really going on. You got eyes, you got an eye on both sides of your skull, but your vision clouded. Get out, get out. So we come out here to open your eyes. To, to wipe your eyes clean so you can see what's really going on. Read. Verse 10. Make the heart of this people fat. So we, we came out here to make the hearts of y'all fat. We want to open your hearts up to the word of the most high. That's right. And make it fat. How? And make their ears heavy. And shut their eyes. Least they see with their eyes. And hear with their ears and understand with your heart. So you can understand with your heart. So you can understand with your heart what the Most High God is saying to you. That's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. We got to come back to the Most High's word. As it is written. Not as they say. Yeah. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14 Wherefore he saith Awake that thou sleepest He said awake Wake up y'all that's sleeping Wake up Read And arise from the dead And Christ shall give thee light Cause the most high God gonna give you light If you start to seek after him if you wake up and start to seek the most high God, Christ is going to give you light. Give me your Ezekiel 34, 31. Yeah. We got to come back to God as it is written. You are the children of Israel. You are not niggas. You are not Afro-Americans. You ain't black. Look at yourself. You brown. What's black about you? Your condition is black. That's what's black. Yeah, 35, 31. 34, 31. We got to realize in these last days, we must bethink ourselves and come back to this, come back to this Bible. Black woman. Read. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 31. And ye, my flock, of my pasture, are men. He said, ye of my flock are men. The most high God is calling you men back to That's repentance. Right. Cause it's gonna take us to wake up this world. It's gonna take us. Cause we see what's going on in these churches. You got sodomite preachers, weak and feminine preachers standing on a pulpit preaching lies. You got women standing on the pulpit preaching lies. They on that they only been taught by the men. So what we must do is men come back. Read that again. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 31 and ye my flock of my pastor are men and I am your God saith the Lord he's our God you men 
if I don't know what you're scared of, most of y'all don't know though. But we come out here to teach you today that you are the children of the Most High God. You see what happened to the young boy over there? He got shot by the police. This ain't new. Our people are constantly getting shot. Now people got shot up in the church. Why they were praying to God? Supposed to be. So what's happening? Some going wrong. Somebody preaching lies. Cause God don't hear sinners. Give me that. Yeah. God does not hear sinners. If you are in the midst of sin, God does not hear you. Read the book of John, chapter nine, verse thirty-one. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. So, so look, the Bible said that God don't hear you. Because all of y'all are in the midst of sin right now. You go home and pray, you still in the midst of sin. You saying, oh God, oh God, my son got shot, help me out. We still in the midst of sin, he is not listening to you. We go up in these churches, bow down run around and he still don't hear you cause you in the midst of sin That's right. but if God be for us who can be against us in Romans 8 31 if God be for us who can be against us cause we are the children of Israel That's he is right. our God and our God only That's right. That's what you must know give me that the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 31. Come back to the Most High God. Come back to this Bible. Come back to your true heritage. We coming out here to bring you the people that you once were. What type of people don't want to know about their ancestral history? What, what type of people don't know who their ancestors were? We are lost generation. We are blind. We have been duped so long, we don't even have the understanding to say, hey, I want to see what these guys talking about. They talking about we are the children of Israel. Let me go see. What nation of people you know don't want to know about their ancestors? We lost. Read that up. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? The Bible said, if God be for us, the children of Israel, these 12 tribes that are on this sign right here, if God be for us, who can be against us? Nobody, no one can be against us. Give me that Hosea, uh, Hosea 4 and 6. Nobody can be against us. This is what you must know. Read. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because see, we destroyed right now for the lack of the knowledge of the Most High God. We destroyed right now for the power that is within us that's coming from God. He wants he want to show us his power. But we keep sinning. We are destroyed for the lack of the knowledge of this book. Read. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Because you rejected knowledge, God that is rejecting us. That's right. He is constantly rejecting us. We can constantly see. How you doing, black man? How you doing, bro? What's up, bro? Come holler at me for a minute. Come holler at me for a minute. Man, did, what's your nationality, man? If I was to ask you what your nationality was, what would be your answer? Step, step around here so you can see what's going on. What's, what's your nationality according to your knowledge? Your nationality. The root word of nationality is nation. So what I'm asking you is, what nation of people do you descend from? God. No, God created the nations. Now you're not from USA. Read, read that again. L listen to this. 
Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Matter, matter of fact, give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Because this is this what we must know right here. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. So the ox, you know what an ox is? Pretty, it's a pretty dumb animal. It said the ox know his owner. And the ass, his master's crib. And the ass knows his master's crib. You know an ass is a what? It's a donkey. So the donkey knows his master's crib. But, but, but Israel do not know. But Israel don't know. The children of Israel don't know who they are. That's what's going on. I ain't trying to embarrass you at all, brother. But I'm trying to speak so these people can hear this. I asked a young man what his nationality was. He said, what you mean? That's because this wasn't taught to our people. This is what is being kept from us. That's right. Read Psalms 83, 2 through 5. This is what is being kept from us as a people. They came up with this thing, and they said, yeah, yeah, yeah let's do this. Because this is a great people right here. Read that. This is what happened. The book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. So the Bible said, for lo, for sure. The enemies of, of these people made a tumult. They gathered together. They making great noise about something. Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So the people that hate these people, they don't lift it up the heads. They're leaders. Read. They have taken crappy counsel against thy people. So they don't take, they don't taking very, very slick, sneaky, deceitful counsel against these people. Read. 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 And consulted against thy hidden ones. Uh -huh. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So they said, come, let us, let us cut these people off from being a nation. That's that word I was asking you about. That's the root word of that word, nationality. They said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Yeah. That's what's happening to us right now. That's why you don't know. That's why you did not know what I was talking about. Because this is happening. This has happened to us and it's still happening right now. They now trying to take what's in the books about slavery out. So the children that's coming up won't even be able to read about that thing. So our kids coming up won't even, won't even be able to see that slavery was once part of our part of our history. You see that? That's, that's still that crafty council that's going on. Read that. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Look at this sign right here. What, which one would you fall on? Yeah. The Bible gave us the names on your left. And people, you come from Judah, I'll pray. Yep. So, so yep. your father was a descendant of the slave trade. Let me let me show you the Deuteronomy twenty eight fifteen. This is what this is why we are in the conditions that we in today. Yep. Right? Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight verse fifteen. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all His commandments and His statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and they will take thee. So, so the Bible says if we do not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, this is Moses talking to the children of Israel. He said if you do not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all the commandments and his statutes, then all these curses will come upon you. Now these was a great people. Do you know anything about the Bible? Okay, okay. So, so the children of Israel are God's chosen people. God chose them over every nation. Yeah, give me that Deuteronomy. God chose them over every nation. So a lot of people like to say everybody the same, but the Bible don't say that. It's a people that's different from everybody. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. So we supposed to be a holy people. We ain't holy right now. We ain't holy right now. When you look at your brothers in the hood, they're not holy. 
even to your knowledge of what's being holy. They not holy, read. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people. See that? He chose these people, the children of Israel, to be a special people huh? unto himself uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You see that? This is the Holy Bible we read. He said above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. So one people different from the other, right? That's right. So so what's in this Bible? Do you believe this Bible is true? I'll pray. So you know now you now, now you've heard that there's a people that's supposed to be above all other people. And I'm gonna show you how we do the run 281. Yeah, nah. They would still be, we would still be if we had done this. Listen to it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And this shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it says it shall come to pass if we shall listen closely to the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God who set thee high above all nations of the earth. So if we were to keep his commandments, keep his laws and statutes, he would set us high above all nations of the earth. That's what that other verse just read, that we are special people to him, separate and special and different above all other people. So that's what that verse just said. But it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a stipulation to what's going on right here. Because now he's giving us a choice. He said, hey, if you observe to do all the commandments of God, he gonna set you high above all nations. So here's the flip side. Read. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Will not. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay. So now we know that if they don't, all these curses will come upon us and overtake us. What's a, what's a curse? What would you say a curse is? Somebody put a curse on you. What just happened? Something like voodoo, which is, you know, we consider that as a bad thing. Somebody put a curse on you, you go around the corner, you're pretty scared because something bad might happen, right? So these are bad things that might happen to our people that, that are happening to our people, that did happen to our, to our people, and still happening to our people right now. Verse 16. Curse shalt thou be in the city, and curse shalt thou be in the field. So it said, curse shall I be in the city, and curse shall we be in the field. Who's cursed in the cities of America? Of all nations, of the Chinese man, the uh, Arabian man, the African people who come over here, uh, uh, the white men, uh, all the other nations out of all nations of the earth who are cursed in every city in America. Who does bad things happen to? It happened to the so-called black man. That's right. So we are cursed in the city. This book is talking to the children of Israel. This, this, this chapter right here is to the children of Israel only. He said, cursed shall you be in the city and curse shall you be in the fields. Do you know anything about uh, the slave trade? Ray, raise that sign up for me, bro. We was the ones cursed in the fields. Exactly, exactly. Beale Street was one of the main spots. You see that? He said, curse shall we be in the city and curse shall we be in the fields. We was the ones cursed in the fields. Look on the back of this. You see that? Those cotton plantations. You see that? We was the ones cursed. We was the ones working from sun up to sundown. And right now, what time the sun come up? About six? Sundown go, sun, the sun goes down about 8.30. That's a long time to be working. For free. For free. And then if you didn't bring in enough, you get whooped for it. We are the ones who made this place rich. Yeah. And we the ones who still making this place rich. Yeah. So the Bible said, curse shall we be in the city, and curse shall we be in the field. I'm going to give you another example to hit on exactly that, that, that poster right there. Give me 32. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given 
or to another people. It said, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Remember, this is talking to these, these, uh, 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 these, these curses are going to happen to the children of Israel. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? Of your knowledge. The black people. It, this didn't happen to nobody else like it happened to us. This didn't happen to nobody else. Our sons and our daughters was given to another people. They called him a buck. A strong black boy was called a buck. So they sold him for the highest. They got good money for us. They would call you a buck these days. Because you're a strong black man. They'll see you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that buck right there. Give me, give me him. Put you up on the auction block and 20, 30, 40 sold to Master Charles in West Virginia. Yeah, no. That's what happened to our people. Read on. And thine eyes shall look at fail with longing for them all the day long. It said, now I shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. You seen roots? So, so when the child was taken from the mother, what did the mother do? She couldn't do nothing really. All she could do was cry. That's what that verse is saying. Now I shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Read on. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Just like you said, there wasn't nothing she could do. The, the scripture just saying there should be no might in thine hand. Meaning we didn't have no military might. We didn't have no economical might. We had no might to get our kids back. See that? So what I'm what I'm conveying to you is that we are the chosen people of the most high God. Yeah. We are the children of Israel. That's right. Black man, black woman, you need to wake up out of your sleep and come back to the most high God. That's yeah. right. Come back to this book as it is written, not as you're told. Pick it up and read. The Bible is talking about you. You see that? The Bible is talking about you, young man. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. You are a special person. The nation that we are is special. Don't don't be don't be uh, 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 taken away by all these different thoughts of your brother. Now that you learn this today, give me your Second Corinthians uh, six and fifteen. Now, now that you learn today, the only way to change. I know you ever, you heard the saying: if you want to change something about yourself, you got to change the things around you. You know what I'm saying? So so changing the things around you, according to this, you will be helping yourself out. You got a flyer, get on that flyer, read it. You can go to our website, check us out and get in touch with us. You got to get around people who think accordingly. You see what I'm saying? Now that you know you're a special person, read that. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. So you can't be unequally yoked. Unequally yoked meaning, with, like I said, with unbelievers. People who don't believe. Because you're going to tell somebody, man, somebody told me I was a child of God. Bring it out. Somebody told me we was the children of Israel. Bring it out. Some people ain't going to believe one word coming out your mouth. Bring it out. But I just showed you, this is truth. So you can't be unequally yoked with them. You can't constantly be with them every day. Not if you want to go do according to what this word said. Because we are people who are going to be set on high above all nations. It's going to happen. That's right. It is prophesied in the Bible that we would be above all nations. We are going to run the world. Not this country. Not a city. Not a block. We're going to run the world. That's right. When Christ comes. You know. It ain't going to be. It ain't going to be when Christ comes and everything gone. It's going to be when Christ comes. We're going to run the world. That's so, right. so, so read that again. Second Corinthians chapter six, verse fourteen. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Because there is no communion with light and darkness. You can't put them together. One gonna overtake the other, which is light. The light is going to overtake the darkness unless you're sitting among the darkness. Unless you're constantly sitting there.
Hello, this I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.